Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today we will walk you through the complete tutorial on a free Python online editor. This is called Collaboratory from Google. You can reach to that website if you already know this website or you can just Google it yourself called Google Collab and you can see this link over here. Please click on this link. Once you click this link, you will end up here. If you see to do anything, you will have to first sign in. Remember, this is a free web browser based Python online editor. Therefore, your signing in doesn't require any cost. You can use your Google Gmail ID itself to sign in. Okay. So first, as you see here, there are many things here, starting with some documentation. You can see this table of contents and walk through yourself. There are some documentation for machine learning, examples, data science and everything. So if you are interested in machine learning, data science, etc., you can just have a look at some documentation and there will be some nice tutorials like this. Okay. Now, to get started with Python coding, we need to first sign in. So that's the first step we need to do. If you don't have a Gmail account, please create a Gmail account. And if you have, just sign in right away like this. You have signed in to Google Collab. This is the first page you will encounter. So let us understand this step by step. The first one examples, right? I'm going this top middle example. If you want to yourself see some examples that Collab has already given. You can just click on something. Let's say I'll click on BigQuery, something. Okay. So what is happening? See, it is giving something already, right? Some code, some explanation like that, right? That is the first option that you already want some existing thing, some examples you want to inquire. You can click on that. Let us understand the second option, which is recent. Let's say you're already working in this Google Collab. You have some files already open, right? And you have accessed it recently. You can just click on that and it will open the existing Collab that you have already opened. So if you J, yeah. So this is already I have written just a print statement. So it will open that. Next few tabs are self-explanatory. Let's say you have already files in Google Drive stored. You can just click on that and you can access from the, your Google Drive. Let's say you want to access from a GitHub you need to go, go here and click on a URL and you, you can access from GitHub or you can also upload from a particular directory in your system. So if you already stored this, uh, you know, collab project somewhere, you can just upload it. Okay. So I'll just repeat. This is where you have example code. This is where you have recent files. You can just click on it. This is where you can get your files from Google Drive. This is from GitHub. You can get the files or you can also upload from a particular directory. Let us start afresh with a new notebook. Every project in this Google Collab, you can call it as a notebook. So I am opening a new notebook. Okay. So you'll get a fresh new project for yourself. Okay. It's opening. Please wait. Okay. So if you see here, you know, this is the screen, initial screen. Okay. If you see this is the file name, we can change it here by clicking it. Let's say I'll say my first Python. Okay. I'll just say. And what is the extension? IPY notebook, right? That's the, that's the thing. Okay. That's where you landed. So we are not doing anything here. Okay. We have clicked on a new notebook and landed here. Okay. Let us start some coding straight away. So to do any code, you click on this code. So you got a cell here. You write some code. Let me say, let's say I will open the list here. Okay. All I'm doing is just created a list here okay and i am let's say i am printing this list okay nothing much so how do you run this i can just say click on this see it printed the list correct so let's say i want to write some more code i can click this let me do a for loop and uh, print each element okay so i'll i can run this one so if you see printed this so if you see here these are like independent thing, right? See, I can only run this. I can only run this. So what does this mean? So one of the main concept in this collab you have to understand is the concept of cell. See, each is each of this is called a cell. Whenever you click 
code or text which I come to later, you get a cell. So you can write code in that cell and execute it independently without this, right? So let me execute, let me let me write one more code. Let's say right now I'll say I'll, I'll do a print. See, let's say I'm printing this. See, I run this. Say I run this. I'm not running this too, right? So that means what? Like I can run independently. So I have three cells here, right? right? Let's say these are the outputs that came from this cell. Now let's say I want to close this. I can just do this. Okay, so I just have the code here, right? So now let's understand. Let's, let's say I want to run everything together. All I can do is you can go to runtime, run all. See, it runs everything together. See, this is the output has come, this has come, this has come. Okay. See. But let's say I want to run before this. So that means it will run this one. Right. And let's say I want to run after this. See. Right. So like this, right. So what the main concept we have to understand, it's a cell. Right. See, you can write more code here. Right. So I'm writing some more code. It's not just one code right not just one or two lines i can write more okay this is the concept of code and cell in collab now let's say i want to put some comment right let's say i can click on text and i say this is my first project see put a comment so it's very nice, right? See, you can, you know, you can write code, then you can put some comments about it, then you can write code, you can put some comments about it, and you can keep on unit testing each, and if you want, you can run everything together. So this is the power of the concept of cell. Let's say you have all these cells, right? I have a code cell, I have a text cell here, right? I have a code, I have a code here, right? Let's say, I, I, now right click on that. If you see here, I can delete a cell. Let's say I don't want this comment, I'll say delete cell. Right. Again, I can, you know, copy cell, etc, etc. Correct. So this is the basics that you have to know to write. So I'll repeat to write any code. You click on code. You get a cell. You write your code there. In a cell, you can write many lines. Correct. You can execute each cell independently or you can execute together or you can execute before, after, etc. You can have any comments by using text cell. So you can put text, a lot of text there. To explain your project probably correct so this is the basic right you have your code written you can save correct for that you have to go to file option if you see here there are many save options right you if you just click save wherever it opened just in the local system it's save but you can save a copy in drive you can save in github etc etc so this is as simple as that saving is straightforward if you want you can share this entire file to somebody else by just clicking on the share. So this will produce a link and you can share to that person. If you want some sample code, you just go to insert and say code snippets. You can see here there are many sample codes here. Let's say camera capture. I'll say insert. So the code comes here. Okay. So you can just, so I have not written this code, right? I'm just taking from, you know, already predefined. So there are many code snippet like this. Okay. You can say, Keep scrolling like this or whatever you want. You just click on it and insert. It will come to your, your notebook. Just now understand the hardware behind all these things. If you look at this tab here, RAM and disk, you can just understand what kind of backend it is. If you see here, it's connected to Python 3 Google Compute Backend. And you, you will see how much RAM is available, how much disk is available, etc. If you see your program is running low, you just check here and maybe that is the issue. You have to understand this is a shared resource, right? Okay. Now, first of all, let us understand why Google came up with such a thing like an online editor. See, you have to understand that for machine learning and graphical lot of operations, you need a very sophisticated CPU which you can't afford generally. Therefore, Google Collab, Google, they gave this option just to try it out. Okay. So, there is a concept of, uh, you know, specific CPUs called GPU. So, you know of CPU. There is GPU, there is TPU. GPU is for graphics, TPU is for some machine learning. Okay. So, if you want to choose something like that, Okay, for your program, let's say you're doing a machine learning program and you want to choose to run on a TPU, right? Go here and change, come here. And if you see here, hardware accelerator, you can choose either GPU or TPU. Okay, you can choose them, right? But remember one thing, let me go here. So they are telling, sir, the GPUs available are this. But you have to understand that they don't guarantee which they will be giving, but they will give something. But if you want more specific, more advanced configuration, you have to obviously go for 
professional version. Let us understand the revision history feature of Google Collab. Let's have a code. Okay, what I'll do is I'll say save and pin revision. That means some version is saved. Now let's say I'll change it after saving a version. Let's say I'm changing, right? What I have done in this code, only thing I have done is I have just put a words like this saving history, correct? Now let me save that also, okay? So I have two versions, right? Let's say now I want to compare both of them. I just go here, save and, sorry, I just go here and it's a revision history. So if you see here, it's showing the difference, right? Between this and this, correct? The only difference was this and it's showing, okay? And if you want to just see in the code itself, we can see. So that is very pretty straightforward. This was the first version. This is the second version and you can see it. Okay. Let us say sometime you want to just play with the code, but you don't want to actually save it. Just like a playground, you are just playing around, right? Google Collab has that option. You go to file and you say open in playground mode. The same thing it will open in a different mode, right? So whatever you do, if you see, it will not change. If you see, this notebook is in playground mode. Changes will not be saved. That means whatever you run, it doesn't matter, right? It will be not saved in that. So it's like a playground, right? Just a testing error like that. And let's say you want to go back to original mode, just click on this, turn off playground mode. Okay, and it will go back to the original way where you can actually edit and change and save. Last but not the least, let us understand a few small things. So you go to tools, click on settings, so there are some settings here which you can see like a theme you can change correct editor you can change the font size right and all those things correct if you see these are the things they are explaining that collab pro this is we are using a basic question they're explaining collab pro what it will provide right faster gpus etc etc correct so you can do check all these things another option i want to show here is here help so if there is a frequently asked questions so you can just go and refer that whatever doubts you have there as faqs then you have a search code snippet we have already done it right you can directly post it to stack overflow also if you have any questions see they are showing here you can log in and post a question on stack overflow so yeah then obviously report a bug etc let me end with a quick demonstration of everything once again so we are in Google Collab, it's an online Python editor. We have opened a file here, correct, a project here. There are two things here, code and text. If I click on code, you will get a cell, you can code there. If you click on text, you will get a cell, you can write some comments here. If you see, I have three cells here. These two are the code cell, this is the text cell, right? So I have coded something. Now there are multiple options here. To look at the resources that is being used, you can click here and see that, correct? Then once you change, do the changes, you can save a copy to yourself, your, your drive or GitHub, etc. You can see the revision history. You can save a revision history. Correct. And then as I told, you can insert some code, pre-existing code here. Search it and insert. You can change the CPU that you are going to use. Correct. And there are some tools like you can change the background and etc. This is the basic thing. And we have seen that you can right click this here, and you can delete a cell, etc, etc. To run this thing, you, all you have to do is this. I'm running this. So this is going to give a bar chart. This is the output here, right? This, I can remove this output. Again, I'm running this. This is a pie chart here, okay? I can remove this, okay? Or I can go once for all and I can say run all, correct? So you, I'll just quickly explain. This is the sample code. It's a bonus code, okay? It's a matplotlib you have for, you know, plotting the graphs. NumPy for array. So basically I have all this numbers sales figures in the y column and this is in the x column so i am plotting a bar similarly i am plotting a pie chart using these numbers and these are the labels as this you can just walk through this is a sample code for yourself bonus okay you can share this entire project to somebody by share clicking on share correct and uh, yeah you can just check it as i told all this i have shown right and uh, that's it i think this is good enough for you okay I wish you all the best and uh, keep commenting and uh, let's see how it goes.